Fiji has announced their squad that they'll be taking to the Pacific Championships in 2023. I'm going to go over the full squad list now and then go over a few key players that I want to highlight. So let's get started on the full squad. The Fiji squad includes Wonga Blake, Jerry Bula, Kurt Donahoe, Kition Kartoga, Tui Kamakamitha, Cirilo Lorakuro, Tane Milne, Noah Nailag Oliva, Caleb Navale, Jason Kerikeri, Michele Ravalawa, Masaka Rivanu, Api Salomi Saukuru, Mike Sivo, Penny Tagitu Emua, Sonia Taruva, King Bunny Ayoa, Brandon Wakem, Watasoni Wakanizarave, and Gordon Whippy. The first player that I'm going to be talking about for Fiji is Jerry Mbula. I was very impressed with his performances last season for the West Tigers. There were a lot of key injuries to the spine. Luke Brooks was taken out, same with uh, Adam Dewey. So Jareem Bula eventually made his way into the spine. Charlie Staines was also unavailable and uh, Dane Laurie as well. Um, but Bula was exceptional. Thrown into a situation at a poor team and was really a bright spark for them. And that was something that they really needed. The West Tigers certainly looked like a different team when he was in there defensively. Very strong for such a young player. Very, very strong defensively. And in attack with the ball is exciting to watch. So he is somebody that at the fullback position, I'm assuming he's going to start there. Because normally, well, at the World Cup, it was Sonny Ataruva that played at fullback. But it's looking like he would probably play on the wing at this point. Whether he'd start over Taruva at the fullback position, I don't know. But for me... He gets the number one jersey for Taruva to go into the wing. He was very reliable. And this is a great opportunity to see him shine again on another stage. In a hopefully better system. Playing in some really tough physical games. Because you just know when they come up against Cook Islands and PNG. It's going to be physical. So seeing someone of his size. He's not a big guy. He's a fullback. A lot of them are small. Understandably. But... Seeing what he does for this series is going to be exciting to watch. He can certainly open teams up. He can be very dangerous, but it will be most exciting to see him kind of flourish in an environment that's not sort of languishing near the bottom of the ladder. So this will be fun to watch, and I wish him the absolute best of luck. So the next player I want to talk about is Sonny Taruva. I think at the World Cup, he was absolutely excellent. I'd never heard of him before the World Cup. But I watched him, he was just unbelievable, so, so reliable. There were plenty of games where Fiji were like put under a lot of pressure from the kicking games that some of the teams in their pool provided, and my god did he deal with it. Not only did he deal with a lot of kick, like pressure from the kicks coming down, but kicks into the corner having to chase after them, and also the returns that he had on those kicks. A lot, a lot of times, he was pinned into the in-goal area and got out of it with his pace, his acceleration, and his step was exceptional to watch. And this last year, watching him for the Panthers has been great. He's been given an opportunity, given... I can't remember what the guy's name is. I think it's May. I can't remember his first name that's injured, that typically plays for the Panthers. Taruva's been given this opportunity and he has absolutely flourished and in the air as well he's pretty effective for someone that's as short as he is he's been very effective in the air and his finishing has been top notch for the Panthers so he's been another exciting player the same with Bula so he could play at fullback and if he does I'd have no complaints over that one but I think it kind of makes sense Bula's been incredible put him at fullback taruba has been incredible on the wing. Keep him on the wing. For me, that just makes sense. But there's two players right there. Very young, very exciting. And yeah, again, I wish him the best of luck because he was excellent at the World Cup, excellent this year, and I have no doubts he's going to be brilliant again. The final player that I want to talk about for Fiji is Brandon Wakem. So this year, a little bit like Bula, he was kind of thrown into a situation. He joined the West Tigers and was part of a spine trying to dig them out of a hole constantly being in last place and there was certainly improvements made I think Luke Brooks definitely improved his performances and I think he was the main catalyst for the change at the Tigers when he improved his performances but Wakeham was of course a, a strong player especially after his performances at the World Cup he seemed to be the guy running Fiji he was the guy there was of course 
a lot of intense running from the forwards, from uh, Kamikamitha, uh, Kikau as well, of course, being creative and effective down the left-hand side, but Wakem was the guy with the kicking game, taking on the responsibility, and he did that brilliantly. So I'm assuming he's going to take on that role again this time round. He can certainly lead a team. We've seen him do it for Fiji on the international stage. I think it, you know, he was in a tough position with the West Tigers, as I mentioned with Bula being in a system that wasn't particularly great. But in this environment, let's hopefully see him shine. I think he can control games quite well. And, you know, they. I think Fiji as a team should be okay against Cook Islands, but it will certainly be competitive against Papua New Guinea, which I'm definitely excited to see. If he can outkick teams, I think this is where Fiji are going to need to look as they progress as a nation in Rugby League. Is that Maybe they don't have all the players to kind of break through teams, but Brandon Wakem is certainly a player that he, if he's able to get a reliable kicking game week in, week out on the, the league stage, and he can do it every time on the international stage, force teams back, be really effective, manipulate the game to to be how he wants it to be and how Fiji want it to be there's no reason why they can't start pushing Papua New Guinea and even higher up as long as they can just just be as effective as possible with the kicking game I think it starts and ends with Wakem. so that is going to be it for this video of course there are other players I could have talked about it's not all about those three and it's not always going to be on Brandon Wakem to provide everything, but certainly given his experience and the position that he's going to be in with this team, he's looking like the number one go-to guy. So if you have any opinions on who you would have brought in instead, who you would have left out, do let me know in the comments down below. Feel free to like and subscribe, but that's going to be it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time.